Hello there. Do we have anyone present? Ah, Goth. Hello. Hello. Excellent. Excellent. And hey, Rocket. And thank you for the sub there, uh, Weird Soup. A 17 month. Thank you very much. And hello, Samus. And Sketches. And Ranger Rumble. Hello, everybody. Make sure I've got my volume up correctly. Things that you should probably uh, check before you start streaming. But, uh, you know, um, if you're a professional like me, you do things uh, bad. Um, like, uh, you know, turning off the starting soon thing. Um when you start speaking, that's that's what a normal person would do. Thank you for the sub there, Issa. 57 months, Jesus Christ. That is a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, and everyone say goodbye to the cat. I know we all love vibing cat. But the music is over. But yeah, uh, so hello everybody. Uh, just me today. Because um, Snipe is in bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so... Um, I, I guess the uh, the big thing uh, is to say that, uh, yes, we are playing Satisfactory again. I know. Uh, I just had a, a, a pull to start a new factory. I don't know if... The, I don't, I, okay, I know. This is not going to be like a, a full, full playthrough thing like we've done uh, the last couple of times. I know I played most of them off stream. Most of them off stream. Uh, it's not another one of those... Um, this is just, just, just me starting off a save, kind of having a bit of a chill. Um, yeah, that, that's just, it's very, very low. Uh, let me let me start the game actually, because it usually takes a while. Um, you know, it's just a kind of like chill, chill thing while I just start off a new save, um, and maybe I'll return to it periodically whenever I, uh, I, I, uh, you know. I am doing a stream on my own, uh, but it'll be uh, an off-stream save for the most part. Um, but yeah, so uh, I thought we would start uh, start doing this. So yeah, would you say your ability to resist playing was unsatisfactory? I mean, I guess technically it is just satisfactory because uh, it keeps me not playing it for long enough that I don't get utterly sick of the game. So I suppose it works out quite well. I don't think there's been any major changes in the game since I last played it. I know that the next update, um, the game is fully like um, changing over to run on Unreal Five, if I remember correctly. So that'll be that'll be a pretty big big change. Hello there, Agamemnon. And your awooks. <laughs> also, I don't want to force anyone's hand. Um, nor nor beg or anything. Uh, but I do I do just wanna The game just crashed. The game just crashed! What the fuck are you doing? You were just loading! What the fuck? You loaded up fine, like, before the stream? What are you doing? What's going on with you? Uh, I, 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 yeah, I, was, I don't mean to, like, tempt anyone, uh, you know, to force anyone's hand, but I do notice that we are 27 pence away from the goal. Which is ridiculous. And thank you, Stella, for the 44 months. See, was that so difficult? Uh, oh, hey, Shay. Got Titans returned terrible yesterday. I mean, it's a stupid thing. I think. Oh, okay. I'll, I will. I, I. I can't resist looking at something that's related to one of the 
shit tier Transformers. <laughs> Thank you, Cetacean Antifa. I do expect you. Thank you very much for pushing us over that thing. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. No worries, Alexis. You, you chill out. Sometimes, sometimes the day is just balls, and uh, and yeah, you just have to, you know, do that. Oh, thank you! Happy birthday there, uh, Love Apocalypse. Very good, Lord Sino. Even if I am vaguely jealous of your uh, Titans Return RC and Crasher. Well, Legacy Crasher. Never saw one here. Got my hands on some retweet, boys. <laughs> yeah, good. Good, 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 good. It is always a good time uh, to get um, some Rogue Trader Space Marines. I cannot, cannot lie. I presume that's that's what you're talking about. There are plenty of, uh, of Rogue Trader models, I'm aware. But, you know, as someone who collects Rogue Trader Space Marines, I obviously have, uh, you yeah. know. Oh, nice, Sino. You know. Nice, Sino. You know. Um, oh, and hey, Longfang. But yeah, so let's let's start a new game now. Ooh, skip intro because you know who gives a shit. Um, so where shall we start? Um, uh, because we've done we've done streams where we started in the grass fields. We've done well, we've done a stream where we started in the grass fields. We've done a, a stream where we started in the rocky desert. Should we do northern forest or dune desert? I've never actually done them. Um, but, um, like, would they just be annoying? Forest, it'll be the most awkward. <laughs> Dune Desert is fun. Train is beautiful. <laughs> we get the big worms in the dunes. What's up there, Hypnodisc? Thank you very much. It's a company clown town, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. <laughs> Northern Forest is pretty ace, but it's resort placements are a pain in the ass. That does, that does kind of check out. That does kind of check out. I'm a little tempted by the Dune Desert because it's a nice big open area. I know that like resources are pretty, pretty like widely spread there. Uh, but the thing is, like, if you start somewhere and you end up really f fucked off with it, it's all one map. I can just build a car and just mount all my resources in and then just fuck off. Like, it's not the biggest deal. Um, and, of course, we can, uh, you know, uh, pray uh, to Shai Halud uh, for a bountiful harvest, so... Yeah, fuck it. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm digging. I, I'm, I'm feeling the Dune Desert because I think it's because, like, obviously I've spent a lot of time in these two, and the Northern Forest I've spent a lot of time in, um, mostly as as um, going through it in in other saves, and I've built stuff in it. Whereas like the Dune Desert, I never spent any time in. So yeah, fuck it. Let's do let's do Dune Desert. Uh, what shall we call this one? Uh, just it helps if you can spell just deserts there we go Now let's see if the game will function. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. You can do it. 
Whew. I don't know what it's like where you folks are, but it's fucking warm here today. It's been quite pleasant recently. Like, uh, the temperature, like, dropped down again to be, like, sort of, like, a, a nice kind of manageable sort of, sort of temperature. But, like, now it's just so fucking hot in here. And I realise I, once again, did not bother to change my name. Oh, well. Okay. Got to remember how the game works. Oh. Give me a second. There we go. Alright, so you want to start shit here? I remember how this whole shit works. See? See? How did that go for you? Didn't go well, did it? Dickhead. Um, right then. Okay, let's find uh, let's find where we want to build our hub. One of these rolling dunes. Uh, you know what? Let's just build it down here for now. I know, we'll probably move it later. We'll just deal with the hog. Come on. There we go. There we go. I've got to remember how the fucking game works, because it's been a while since I played it. Badoof. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Just a friend. Right. Let's get rid of this. I will not stop playing with my hog. I like how I gave, like, a, uh... <laughs> how the fuck you... Oh, oh, yeah, it's, it's just the hand thing, yeah. There you go. Um, but I, I like how I, uh... Said that, uh, entirely with, uh... With space around it so it could be easily clipped. Actually, I've just realized I can straight up just... Oh, wait a minute. I don't even have to do this, do I? Because I've, I've missed the... Um... Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Because I, I didn't do the... Uh, I, I, di I didn't do the um, intro thing, so I kind of miss out on the point of having to manually mine stuff. Okay, okay. Bit of hogs, you get a blueprint for a crack. Crank, crank. Uh, all right, so uh, and then we build. I think you start with enough to get some useful shit. Let us smelt. Boop, bada doop. There we go. Simple, refined. And now we just need to power this thing with some guff. A jam in the hog remains. There we go. I suppose that's that's the issue around here is that just um, comparative to other places like there's a you know much less foliage in this initial area. I mean obviously I can see a bunch over there and I can see a bunch over there, but that's like on the fucking horizon. Insert monster hog. 
uh, line there. Yeah, <laughs> so fun thing. Um, we ended up for uh, Leo the week, uh, like last week. Um, oh, nice. Some quartz. Uh, we ended up uh, getting, uh, getting a um, history channel um, like thing on Prime. And it's like, um, the first thing I did with that, what with like the free trial, was was like, oh, well, I guess I'm watching fucking Monster Quest. That is exactly what I did. I watched them talk about the Loch Ness Monster and uh, how it definitely doesn't exist. How many shows you watch? Like, not uh, surprisingly few, in all honesty. Um, I was very annoyed, though, that uh, I could not uh, watch uh, any more um, uh, Hunting Hitler, uh, because that's not included. Uh, not, not the third season, which is the one I haven't seen. Because uh, if you're not aware, uh, Hunting Hitler is a very funny show. Uh, oh, yeah, I forget I've got two small biomass burners here. Probably link those up, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, you can't do that, can you? Silly bugger that I am. Just bear with me whilst I get used to how this game works again. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Hunting Hitler's a very funny show where they uh, go and uh, look for the signs uh, that Hitler survived the end of World War II um, mostly by ignoring facts and just making shit up. Uh, it's quite, it, it's, it's, it's a, an astonishing uh, thing to watch. Um, I think it is quite funny. Um, right. Ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Where's my nearest copper? Uh, a few hundred meters away. Where's my nearest limestone? I'm assuming that right there is iron. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot of iron. We've got a lot of iron. Tell them about the Mo Howard picture. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, the, possibly the funniest thing that happens in Hunting Hitler is that some guys like, oh yeah, I've uh, like my, you know, I I I I knew Hitler. Um, and my grandfather did, and I've got a picture of him living in like Argentina or wherever uh, in like the nineteen seventies, and they pull out this picture, and it's like this could be an elderly Hitler now. In, in the version that you see if you watch it now on a streaming service, they will build it up, this picture that they're going to investigate it, they're going to look at it for, like, several episodes, and then suddenly just drop it, and they'll, someone will just come on and go, yeah, so we looked into it, and it wasn't him, but, you know, you got to, you got, you got to do your due diligence due diligence about this stuff but in the original broadcast version they were like no this definitely is hitler um but it turns out that it was in fact a picture of mo howard you know one of the three stooges which is uh just the funniest fucking shit uh okay Let's let's do the sensible thing and let's start uh, getting the various things I need. This is probably yeah, it's probably probably the most sensible thing to start with. Right? Can I build? Yeah, I have enough for several miners. All right then. Okay, let's let's first start getting the copper, which uh, it'll be a bit of a trek. Um, but you know what? 
we will persevere. And by a bit of a track, I mean, you know, it's just over here, but, you know. But yeah, no, uh, Hunt Hunting Hitler is, is a very uh, very funny show uh, made by uh, dodgy people. Uh, one of the guys who's in the earlier episodes of it, uh, who is a right arsehole. Um, like, you know, you know when you just get like the most rancid vibes off someone like instantly? And then he disappears from the show, and then you look up about the guy afterwards, and you find out that he was a part of the Nixium cult. And you're like, oh, okay. If you don't know what that is, uh, then uh, good, good. You have led a, a more um, peaceful life than I have. Like, I don't really need to pull this all the way over here, but, you know what I mean? I just... You want to keep everything close. Like, at least at the start. Just to make things a little bit simpler for you. I think I really should have uh, done that. I think I shouldn't have... How do you spell that? I'm curious and open to regret. Uh, oh, I can't even remember. It's spelled without, like, half the vowels. It's fucking... It, 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 is, it is... It is... It is... It's really awful, but also uh, incredibly cringe. It's... it's uh, you know. I was going to say it, like, cults are a bit cringe. <laughs> not, in a, not in a fun way. I need more copper wire, which I guess I can just make from the stuff that I uh, got there. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So how how we all uh, how we all feeling about um, about uh, fucking um, Twitter's rebranding? How how fun is that? Isn't it really, really great? Because I, I, th I think it's talking about like weird rich people doing stupid shit. Um, it just makes me, it makes me think of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> people, uh, people do need an escape, Longfang. That's true. But also, uh, I've, I, I've not been on stream since any of this has happened. And I'm just fucking perplexed by the whole thing. Like, yeah, let's let's fucking change our branding uh, to be something generic. Um, when we used to have something that everyone knew and like was so iconic that like people would you would co you know use the weird verb we made up. And, like, getting people to use made-up shit like that is genuinely difficult. I don't know, man. It fucking sucks, though. Like. Yeah. Eat some of that shit. Uh, what am I doing? Ah yes, yes. I need, uh, I need to smelt. Again, this is this is super super fucking rough. Um, because this is just me getting my initial resources. I have such horrifying plans for this place. Nothing like, you know, 
vertical <laughs> like last time. I'm feeling like just going big. Um, game, there we go. Enjoy the Strange New Worlds Lower Decks crossover. Yes! Yes. It was very fun. I like that they followed it up with the, with the grimmest fucking episode possible. <laughs> I love Strange New Worlds. How uh, it'll be like... They'll do like a silly bullshit shenanigans episode, and then like the next episode will fucking rip your heart out. Um... Like, genuinely, that's fucking great. That's, that's Star Trek. That's what... That's what it fucking does. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that they have remembered that. Hey, pig. I'm gonna poke you. Come back. Come back. Need to poke you some more. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's. Not smelt her. I need miner. Oh shit. <laughs> I need iron. The episode after Lower Decks was dark by DS9 standards. Yeah. Very, um... Oh, I always forget the name of it. The a Siege of AR something. Uh, I always forget what it's... The fucking name of it. Uh, very, very like that. But yeah, it's, it's just something that, like, um, like, obviously, obviously, Lower Decks has to be, you know, it, that is, that is always at the light-hearted end of the spectrum, because it's, it's, it's the animated comedy show. Um, but your, uh, your, your Picards and your, um, Your discoveries have both um, just kind of settled a bit more into the grim end of the spectrum a lot of the time. And uh, whereas, yeah, it's 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 nice to see Star Trek remember it can be silly again, uh, which Strange New Worlds absolutely remembers, which I am very grateful for. Oh yeah, the next episode is going to be very silly. That's the uh, it's the musical episode, isn't it? The next one. I have done the satisfactory thing, yes. Let me go and jam this pig in the, uh, in the, in there, okay. Just to give it a little bit of fuel. And then I think what I'll have to do is have, uh... I didn't set that to fucking, um, what kind of, uh, thingy to make, did I? Peace. You have to make copper ingots, you cur. Uh, okay, yeah, let's, I'll tell you what, let's, let's just go and, uh, and go over some, some way and go and just gather a bunch of, um, a bunch of, uh, like, biomaterial so that I can jam it in the, uh, the generators, because I think that's going to be a big problem for the time being. But yeah, no, I, uh, I I like the lower decks crossover. Uh, I think it it was it was fun. 
It was fun. And I'm looking forward to the musical episode. Because I just like... I like that Strange New Worlds is just having fun with Star Trek again. Like, it's... It's not, like, super, like... It, it's it's not, like, too buried in, in like, continuity gubbins. It's willing to do its own thing. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's being silly with characters that, you know, they used to feel a bit the ability to be silly with because, you know, they weren't so precious about them. Extremely Worlds is treating canon like a non-Newtonian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get that, I get that. <laughs> it's only uh, it's only a solid if you push against it, like, with force. But if you, you know, you, you're sort of gentle with it, you can, you can sort of, uh, you know, do some shit. Weirdos have decided the Strange New Worlds is, a, is definitely a separate timeline, so now hopefully we'll stop complaining. I mean, I have long maintained that there is nearly no way, uh, if you are trying to treat it like a real universe, which it should be noted it isn't, that TOS doesn't fit with base with even the TOS movies. Like it just feel it, it, it in tone and like scale or like the kind of things they do is just radically different. And that's fine. I've always said Star Trek does a really good job of having, uh, of looking like it's got a, uh, a, 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 put, a well put together consistent canon. Uh, but when you look at it for like more than like 10 seconds, you realize actually it's kind of a bit all over the place. And it's fine. It's fine, doesn't matter. TOS only vaguely resembles what Star Trek is known for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember when the Enterprise went back in time by reverse warping and never did it again. <laughs> yeah, I just my my favorite um, like element of that is um, oh what what is it what's it fucking called? Oh, what's the episode called where it's the uh, backdoor pilot? Fuck, I've forgotten all the names for everything. Uh, where they go back to Earth and there's the the guy um, who's um, Assignment Earth, that's the fucking one. Yeah, and it's just like, oh yeah, we're just on a routine time travel thing. We just went back to observe Earth. Gary Seven, that's the fucking guy. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, like that just, just like, what, what the fuck even is that? And it's like, yeah, no, that's just, that's fine. That's just what old Star Trek was like. They just do shit like that. It's fine. Build a mouse mansion. Oh, that sounds wonderful, guys. It ends. Sorry, I'm kind of going a little overboard gathering all this because I know I'm going to need a lot of it. I don't have the chainsaw yet to just fucking like chop down entire goddamn trees. Should build a little research station. Thing, actually, I'll do that when I get back. Fucking, can I build it yet? Yeah. Oh no, wait, that's uh. Well, I need the equipment workshop anyway. Okay. Okay. So it's usually my job, and I feel better. Ah, don't worry about that. It's fine. It is fine. Just because it's been a while since I've done the early game. You finished painting your first model? Oh, well done, Titan. What did you paint? I actually meant to uh, meant to post it. I recently painted. Um I painted one of the models that I sp I spent the longest individually painting, um, because I because it was a uh, Lamenters librarian that I started painting quite like a year ago, 
and then just stops. And then I finally finished him the other day. Uh, Henry Biofuels, this game really needs agricultural bit. That would be nice. Uh, it's Marauder from the Starship Troopers game. Oh, nice, nice. I, I hear that game's interesting. Although I've never, uh, I've uh, never seen any of the models or anything in person. I did also the other day. I posted it on on both Twitter and uh, Blue Sky, um, which I am trying to get used to cross posting to because uh, the moment Blue Sky goes public, oh man, <laughs> uh, I can see a lot of people just permanently moving over there. I'll tell you once they got fucking DMs like. Uh, DMs and gifts. Once I got those, they're fucking sorted. Oh, someone's mad at me. Oh, 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 oh yeah, it's a pig. So I don't trust Blue Sky, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. I don't really trust any of them, frankly. I just, yeah, I just trust it more than threads. Uh, <laughs> I took one look at that and went, yeah, no, that's over a line. I, I that is some, even I can't swallow that. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I, I recently um, painted the oldest model I've ever painted. Um, well, I mean, technically, uh, the laser burn minis that I painted a while ago, um, those are technically older, I suppose. Uh, but those, those were casts from, like, <laughs> the other year, because they were new casts, so I don't really think of them as being that old. But the oldest Citadel miniature, which is a, a was it C19? Uh, Lizard Man, which is from 1983. Um, so that was fun. Something a bit different. Ah, yes. This is enough biomass for me for now. Yeah, the 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 uh, racism dial on, on Blue Sky is an interesting one. Um... Although I I uh, I've been um, I I think I, I I think a lot of it is intended in the way that there's like there is ways of talking about that stuff that is completely neutral, but you also might not want to see it. That's how I've kind of. Because, I mean, if you just make a blanket ban on, like, say, showing a swastika, then there's lots of things you can't talk about. Uh, but I also understand completely uh, that, um, you know, uh, why would you give the benefit of the doubt to any of these fuckers? So, you know. Yes, okay. I know. Badoo. And uh, the annoying thing is, is that all these like social media sites, like, I and mean, you've got you've got the big problem of the uh, by the nature of um, these things, like <laughs> these these are things that are too big for like anything. Um, Like, these are always only ever going to be able to be set up by people with so much capital that um, they're, they're fucking lunatics. Uh, like, like I think it's it's funny. So you've got, you, let's, let's say you've got your three, you, you've got your Twitter and your two Twitter competitors. Uh, I just remembered. 
I just need to move, move the chat. I realise I've got the chat over the things and it makes it kind of annoying to read. Let me just quickly move that. There we go. There we go. The chat won't appear over the things and look very annoying now. Yeah, um, like that. You've got you've got just different flavors of fucking weirdos because you've got like I mean Elon Musk's just a fucking idiot. <laughs> just a fucking weird idiot. Uh, then you've got Jack Dorsey who is a f who is a different kind of fucking weirdo, uh, but he's the kind of fucking weirdo who drinks his own piss. And uh, then you've got um, Mark Zuckerberg, who is the kind of weirdo who uh, has uh, mastered an ancient fighting style and has definitely killed a person. Um, I have no proof of that parody. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's, there's like when there was the whole uh, oh Zuckerberg and Musk might fight, and I'm like, please don't promise us for it with a, a good time because you're not going to do it. Uh, but the thought of of um, Zuckerberg, who has got the who has got the look in his eyes as if he has killed a man. Uh, again, I can't prove anything, but um, you know, I'm just calling it like I sees it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the thought of him fighting Elon Musk was quite funny, because it was like, well, I mean, he'd just kill him. And he wouldn't feel anything. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I doing? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I was uh, going to build another smelter. You know, fuck. We just, we just, we, we're doing it messy. We're doing it messy, just so we can fucking, just so, just so we can get get the stuff starting to be built, and I'll just demolish everything and rebuild it on platforms when I've got access to platforms. Oh yeah, I can do the. It helps if you actually build the things, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the sign on the uh, Twitter building is definitely breaching building codes, so that that's probably going to have to be taken down. So that's funny. I know. I, 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 there's something just so fucking surreal about how so the fiction of um, billionaires being smart it is like something that so so many have clinged to, and it, it's it's. I, I I am at least on on some level slightly grateful to Musk for. Um, absolutely destroying that myth um, for people because I mean it was always obviously nonsense but it's uh, it's it's nice to see it being proved as nonsense all right well we shall now do the exciting thing and uh, wait. So I can start building logistics. Okay, my, my trip for bio biofuel was a sensible one. Well, now I'm just remembering how long-winded the early game can be when you've got the slower, um, 
conveyor belts and you just like, but please go faster. Try to remember. Oh yeah, I don't have the um, thingy for um, uh, what do you call it? Because that's here, yeah, dismantle. Yeah, I don't have the thing for repainting yet, do I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that's a tier two thing. Because I like, I because I've got to pick a new color. Because I always like to have a different color for each, uh, each run for my uh, my buildings. You don't want to be boring and just use the default, do you? Even though I do quite like the default, if I'm honest. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, cheers, Longfang. Cheers. You're a good lad. Oh yeah, so yeah, I can see I can see Titan's um Titan's thing. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That is certainly a shitload neater than the first mini I ever painted. Like, well done. Just looking very snazzy. Yeah, I've got, I, I've got like, what some of the earliest stuff I painted. Most of my really early stuff I have long since uh, stripped and repainted. Um, but I've still got a bunch of stuff from the board game Dark World, and I've been meaning to strip some of it. Not all of it, because I want to keep some of them with my original paint jobs. Uh, but I've been meaning to repaint them with like my current skill level, uh, so I can kind of compare compare them. I think that'd be really fun. Oh, I love that dude. You're using two phones. You fucking. <laughs> I, I remember there was one point in time where I was like, oh, someone's got two phones, they're a drug dealer. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, need to, I need to strip some of those uh, Dark World models and, uh, and paint them, repaint them. I think that would be a fun thing. I want to use the media stuff to actually uh, watch the stream the other for copy and pasting. <laughs> nice. I don't. What was it? Cause I've got. I've got an old phone. And I can't remember what I uh, that um, I used to use it for for a bit. There was like something that I logged into that I just didn't want polluting my new phone, and I can't remember what it was. You know what, actually? Let's set up, uh, whilst I've got a bit of downtime, uh, let's set up a miner for some limestone. I believe the closest one is over here somewhere. Ah, there we go. Ah, yeah, because it was past, uh, past this one. Ah, okay, yeah, sure. And the hard way how to fix a broken ball socket using a push uh, push pin and glue. Oh yeah, I know. One of one of the useful things about like um, doing miniature stuff, and especially um, like say if if you get into like the absurd things I do, where uh, I'm I'm always restoring and repairing old models, is you get you get quite good at being at, at um, Fixing uh, fixing stuff like um, I've had uh, transformers break on me 
uh, but I'm just like, well, I know how to, you know I can I can just repair this joint because um, all I need to do is just put some pins in there, and you know I'll be fine. And I'm used to putting in pins, so ah shit, <laughs> I need a lot of guff. Okay, how much of this can I build? Not much. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on with that later then. Bouncer, bouncer. The dark levels are re uh, the darker. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Sorry. I think a hair from my mustache um had uh, fallen into my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> This is my cross to bear. <laughs> do not eat the mustache yet. Don't tell me what to do, Primbles. Sometimes, you know, you just want to eat the hair. <laughs> uh, fuck. How, how much shit have I got? Okay, that's enough for that. And have I got enough? Uh, not quite. Come on. Finish building these things. Finish building these things and I can move on. I am catching up on the images. Okay, the Moomin house is fucking adorable. And Village of Fear. Oh, that looks fucking rad as shit, man. Oh, that looks so much cooler than fucking the, 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 the castle from, from Dark World. That's fucking rad. If not supposed to eat it, then why does it grow so close to the mouth? Exactly. Why must we travel far to graze? Should still be available. I, I, I assume as much, although I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm currently trying to not gain too many things because I don't have the room for stuff at the moment. I'm trying to, to, like, downsize things, if anything. So any big boxed games, I'm trying to avoid, except where absolutely possible. Uh, absolutely necessary, rather. No matter how cool they may be. Okay. There we go. I did think. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, the and split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Okay. Thank you, Ada. Me with new <laughs> big boxes sent. <laughs> oh, let's just say. <laughs> Look, I say I'm trying to, to, to downsize. I didn't say I'm successful at it. Uh, what the fuck did I come here to do? Ah, yes, cable. I meant to build cable. I, 
I haven't, guys, to tans. I've never looked at the fighting fantasy games. I, I remember downloading the demo for uh, the one that has, that's like the FMV game. Uh, and then I never got around to playing it. Because <laughs> I'm terrible. Um... I managed to get my hands on McFarlane toys on Painted Space Room for a good price. Uh, I can't decide on a good paint scheme. Uh, well, it depends. Do you want something that's a challenge, or do you want something that's um, like relatively easy, really? Because I've been I've been enjoying the Sons of Medusa recently, um, but those are vibrant lime green, so uh, it it's, can be quite annoying to paint that. Oh, I need fucking I forget that I need both fucking ugh, okay, fucking dicks and balls and cocks and. If you want to challenge the uh, uh, Road Trader era, Sons of Medusa. Well, the th the thing with uh, the thing with that is that it's not necessarily the Road Trader era, Sons of Medusa, because I believe the standard one is just, you know, very similar. Um, it's doing their camo variants, which, strictly speaking, uh, aren't actually unique uh, to each chapter, um, because they're uh, just a codex pattern that any chapter can use. Uh, the various patterns you see on them. I am aware I am the fun police. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re entry complete. Let's get that hooked up to power. Actually, one one old old scheme that's very simple because it's just it's just um, a, 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 a more scarlety red um, is uh, is flesh eaters, but they have quite a fun icon because it makes it because they look more like um, they look more like they uh, it's a, it's an icon that belongs on like a fucking orc, which I think is quite fun. And they're still around, it's just no fucker ever bothers to write about them. So you should have power now? You have power now. Okay, cool. Right, and I can start building cement, and then I basically got... Um concrete uh, and uh, then I can uh, do all the things also think I make a Primaris uh, rain, uh, river warrior don't do that don't know maybe do a rainbow warrior rainbow warrior could be fun especially at that scale because you can actually do the the rainbow stripe on the helmet um, without getting a fucking like messing up your eyes <laughs> by having to stare so closely at it and um I wonder if the Storm Wardens will turn back up. Surely we've totally won't have any rights issues. Yeah, that's, that's the issue, isn't it? 
Uh, it's just a constructor I need for this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. The floor is not too steep. You're just a fucking coward. Did I... Yes, I've got the, um, the splitters and stuff. All right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think I can actually start doing uh, slightly more elaborate stuff. Still will be janky as all hell because I am not even attempting to make this tidy yet. seen the ocean gate news oh what the fuck has happened now they want to send people to venus now why what why what why <laughs> there's nothing there it's just hot if you want to go somewhere that's unreasonably hot and not fit for human habitation, go to California. What's your fucking... What are you doing? They want to accomplish this by 2050. You're not going to Venus by 2050. We can't... Like... <laughs> like, I, I, I don't mean to poo-poo uh, scientific advancement and all that, but one of the things that I find most deeply frustrating when they talk, when they, like, interview, like, fucking... Um, like the these like weirdo rich people and their stupid ideas uh is it no one ever goes like oh oh elon you say we're going to mars and it's like well i mean they're not i don't know why i've built another co um fucking copper smelt you actually really need it right now um i'll just split this um he's like oh we're going to mars no you're not you're just not though like, oh, we're going to build this, we're going to build that. Like, well, you're not. Like, the logistical cons the logistical problems of going to Mars, it's totally a thing you can do, but, like, when you talk about living there, like, it, you're not. You are just not. It's it's astronomically complicated to get there. And the, the problems with, like, the exposure to radiation, the, the fact that, like, to exist on Mars for any length of time requires so many resources to be brought from Earth because you cannot... Like, you can't just... Mars is not a habitable place for us to live. There's, like, one place... Like, I, I... I don't know how people can take these fucking idiots seriously. Like, it, it, they... they Like, if you know even... I, don't, I know fuck all about these subjects, but I know enough. Like, a self-sufficient colony isn't easy on Earth. <laughs> a place designed for humans to live... And where we can literally just pick a plot of land and start growing stuff there. Like, ah, oh man. These people are just so not serious. Uh, but, but unfortunately, um, like, the, the, the type of people who become, like, fucking investors are just also very not serious people, so...
speaking of personal experience, the Yorkshire Dales are technically habitable, but goddamn, living here is a struggle. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, like I say, it's it's just such a it, it's it's statements like when when people talk about like oh we're going to terraform Mars or whatever, it's like, like my dude, we we don't we. we if you have the technology to terraform Mars, then you have the technology to save Earth. And it will be a lot easier to make the Earth more habitable than to make Mars habitable even slightly. Like, you are speaking complete bollocks, my friend. just about people not wanting to actually face the consequences for their own actions. Like, you know, shock horror. <laughs> Wib, not a fan of billionaires. This is the thing. I think I, I, I like games like this, uh, and that's the thing. They're games. Um, <laughs> doing this stuff is a is a a fun fantasy to engage in, but it's not something I'd actually want to be doing. But yes, for a lighter thing. Titan, if you want to try and paint Lamenters, feel free, but just know it's a right pain in the ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I was saying, yeah, no, uh, the big thing, like, yeah, if, if something goes wrong on Mars, uh, everyone on there is dead. That's, there's no if, ands, or buts, they're just dead. Sorry. Whereas, um, because it takes months to get over there. It's like it'd be cool to go to the moon. I, th I think it's like I don't think uh, to, go, to, go to, uh, to go to Mars. I, I don't think it's like you know. I, I don't think it, it's like a bad thing to want to strive to go there. I think it's kind of rad uh, to, to to go to Mars. But like to have it as like this purely like to treat it like it's oh this is this is like humanity's like um, savior to go there. It's like no. No. It, that's just not happening. Ugh. Ugh. Now you can cut. We have immediate issues on the one planet we already have. Um, and we should probably deal with that first. Right, okay. So we've got a basic setup for stuff. Um, what are the next things we need? So I'm doing that one now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Bash building. Which will be useful because then I can just start. Um, once I've got the base uh, base plates, I can just then start like making a proper base platform that I can start building stuff on in a slightly neater arrangement. So cool, 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 cool.
And it's probably that eventually some will burn out, so either death or other planets is the only option of survival, and Mars is the closest. I mean, yeah, like, there, there is this idea, like, yeah, one day the sun will burn out, but that's in billions of years. Um, I think it is the height of hubris to expect that um, uh, humanity as it currently stands is, like, going to be around then. <laughs> And like I want, I want to state like, don't get me wrong. Uh, I have, I, I like, I, I'm, I am, I, I consider myself to be a, a, a you know, a, a, a humble person. I have very, very few like. Uh, oh man, I forget how fucking slow all this shit works. Ugh. Don't make me have to like fucking search for more limestone. That's the most boring resource. I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? Like, don't get me wrong, I would love to go to space. I, I would fucking love to go to space. Um, and, uh, f to, to, you know, the Star Trek future is... Like, I'm, I'm enough of a nerd that the Star Trek future is, of course, all I want. But, uh, you know, we've got to be realistic about shit. <laughs> that is n not on the cards for us. Like... That's way, way, <laughs> way in the future. If it is ever possible. I don't think that the firm would believe our future is among the stars, but we have things to work on. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's like a, a fair thing. Like, and I, th I think on some level, like. Um, if if mankind is 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 like anything, it is uh, able to sort of manifest its its weird desires, and so if uh, we we decided that yeah we, this is what we want to do we want to we want we want to go to space we want to do this and like we'll we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, it's just a matter of like some stuff is just really not feasible uh, right now and. That's fine. Like, it's just part of the whole thing. Yeah, Titan, uh, Rainbow Warriors, <coughs> and Deathstrike are, have the same icon. Just one's usually done white and one's usually done yellow. It's like the... Uh, there's just a bunch of logos that are just reused time and time and time and time and time and time again. Time again. Okay, is that enough to build another miner? Yes. Cool. Oh gosh, actually, because um, you need a bit of concrete to build the platforms and. You know what, let's just fucking do this the sensible way. I need a merger. Yeah, concrete's the, the big thing. I just need to get a bit more of. That will... Oh, no, that won't do, will it? No. Actually, I suppose I can just fucking mine more and just make it myself, can't I? So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably okay. I, am, I want to point out I am running on the edge of this. I'm not running against the treadmill. <laughs> Uh, 
We've watched many thoughts on Strange New Worlds this season. Any episodes that really stand out? Any that were just fine? I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I kind of have to like see them like in in totality. Uh, I, I really did enjoy uh, the recent. Um, well, obviously the crossover episode was a little special because you know, just what it was. Uh, but I, I did really enjoy. It. I think it was the one before that, which I, I, I'm terrible with the names. But the um, the Vulcan shenanigans episode of this season, um, uh, I thought that was that was great fun. Charades, that's the one. Yeah, I thought that was that was just kind of a fun episode. I enjoyed that. Direction going in that direction. There we go. Is there something mad around here? I just heard some screech. Uh, he's just a large boy over there. I believe it, maybe. Yeah, I think um, uh, overall, my, my only real uh, critique, uh, just leading into something that's being said in chat, of, of, of Strange New Worlds, is that I, I really, really wish that modern Trek would um, stop trying to be so shiny with its CGI models and just light them flatter so they end up resembling um, real physical models again because they can totally just do it. Uh, they were able to do it in the 90s and it just looks so much better. I, I really do not like how Modern Trek like uh, renders ships. I just think it's really ugly, <laughs> frankly. Um, That, that is my one big critique. Uh, my my own my only real actual issue with Strange New Worlds is that I just I really like it's it's a purely it's like a purely subjective and a, a purely aesthetic thing. But it just doesn't look. I I'm very aware I'm looking at a CGI model every time I look at that. Uh, whereas I don't think that when I'm looking at a, at like um, the like say the stuff that was done in the nineties. Like it just doesn't. It, it just, you know. I, I just see them as objects. Then it's sort of they're, they're the things that happen. And what's worse is that sometimes you'll see like I I, I remember someone uh, took the um, Titan uh, from uh, Picard and rendered it, just just making it look like the old style. Uh, like with a modern, just with a modern model, and it looked so fucking good. It looked so good. Um, and I, I saw that, and I was just like, "Oh, why? Why can't they just do that? If they did that, that would be perfect. It would look so good." And it's not like for Matt and like the 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 style, like the shiny thing, is a stylistic choice, because when you see shows that try and do realism. They tend to light things in that flat way because that's how things are generally actually lit in the real world. Although, I suppose, um, you know, wonky, uh, wonky CGI or stuff that is just not to your taste um, has never stopped a sci-fi series being good. Uh, Babylon 5 being a perfect example 
uh, absolutely astounding, amazing show. Uh, fucking god awful CGI. <laughs> Shit, I need cables. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna actually need to start building um like containers for stuff. Oh, oh, Sue, I, I, I know, I was there, <laughs> um, but I'm still, it looks bad, like, it, it, it looked, it didn't look good at the time, either, um, it, it looked bad then, because at the time, we had, like, Deep Space Nine, <laughs> uh, using, at least, at the, you know, the early days, using practical models for nearly everything, and it looked great, comparatively, um, but that doesn't stop the show being really, really good. I love Babylon 5. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? What in the goddamn piss am I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, I need to build cables. And yes, there is a Babylon 5 animated movie coming out, which is going to be interesting. I'm intrigued to see what happens there. Did I never set you up to actually do the right thing? Oh no, you're full. <laughs> you're full. That explains it. Mm, yeah, yeah, you can make that. It's fine. What I want to know is when people will stop being cowards and uh, we get a, uh, a new version of Lex. They should never do that. <laughs> Lex is a product of its time and it should probably be left in that time. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I'm not really... I don't really care too much about remakes at the best of times. A lot of the times, it's, uh, you know... I think I think there's a, a case to be made for it when things have changed so much that it is hard to um, consume as a modern audience. Um, like, say, if they hadn't uh, spent, um, like, 70 years... Uh, making more of the movies. It'd make sense to, you know, make a new Godzilla because the original Godzilla is a, a Japanese movie from 1954. It's um, a hard watch uh, by to a modern audience's eyes. Um. Oh, Longfang. I think I think you'd really like Babylon Five if you could get into it. Uh, but it's a lot to watch. Yeah. I, I, you know, I still haven't seen Rise of the Beasts. I just never got around to seeing it at the cinema because I don't tend to get to go to the cinema very often. Um. So I never got around to seeing it, but I do, I do mean to. I do mean to. I oh, hear it is fine. Which, you know, considering um, how um, most of the Transformers movies are fucking terrible, uh, a movie that comes out and people are like, yeah, it's fine, is is uh, all, all I really ask for. <laughs> Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures, A to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Sure. 
Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Oh yeah. So uh, speaking speaking of like uh, sci sci-fi stuff, um, is is anyone here been fucking stupid enough as I was to watch the whole of Secret Invasion? Uh, Cause boy, how did that fucking suck? <laughs> It was astonishingly bad. Um, like, the whole, like, premise of the show is based around the idea that, like, this is something that, you know, Nick Fury can solve. This isn't a job for the Avengers. Uh, and, uh, s spoilers, but, uh, at the end, uh, the big bad is, uh, defeated in a big super-powered, uh, poncho. By a character who is now possibly the single most powerful, one of, well, one of the single most powerful entities in the Marvel Universe, but is also so boring that I don't care. That's a splitter, I don't need a splitter, I need a merger. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I fucking, it says a lot about it that I forget the names of everything. And indeed, the actress in question, because the only good thing about it is the English spy lady, which is the only fun thing about it. Uh, only thing that makes it even remotely worth watching, and it's just her scenes. Yep, guys, the tans, it's very sick. Olivia Coleman, yes. She was fun. I enjoyed her. Um, but literally everything else about it is fucking boring. It's so fucking boring. There's nothing going on. It's all grey and boring and nothing, nothing really leads to anything. It's just like, oh, we've done the thing. Okay, cool. They could be anyone, but they're not. And then the one thing uh, that they did do that kind of showed it, like, so there's a bit. There, there. Oh yeah, there is the AI generated um, like intro sequence that fucking sucks, and it just looks bad anyway. Like I understand what they were going for, um, but also it sucks and it's bad and I hate it. Uh, <laughs> Was trying to be Andor and managed to fail at it. I mean, to be fair, if you're trying to be Andor, that is a pretty lofty goal. And um, it's weird that Marvel and Star Wars are both Disney. Because, like, say what you like about Star Wars. Uh, and, 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 like... But they do occasionally try things. And uh, there's often cowards and back down on it afterwards. But, like... Star Wars can occasionally deal with, like, capital P politics and come out of it not looking terrible. Like, and or, for example, being just great. Whereas Marvel, every time Marvel tries to address any real-world politics at all, it's so fucking unbearable. Like, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was so fucking bad. Like, once it, when it got to the end and it, like, got to its message and it was just, oh, man... But yeah, the, mo the, the like, Andor, Andor was able to tell a story that was, um, like, used, used real-world politics in an allegorical way that was really interesting. And, like, fucking, uh, you know, um, Mar Marvel's big take on politics was, has, has so far been... Uh, what if David Icke was right and um, racism would go away if we were all just nice to each other? Like, well done. 
You know, really both sides did as well. It's gross. Like, I, I, I do just remember describing Falcon and the Winter Soldier as lib shit. <laughs> and I, I, I feel confident in that assertion. But, like, you know, it's, it's actually, it, it, it's, it's actually weird because, like, um... Like I was, I was looking because uh, I was, I was bored and like looking through, um, uh, through, uh, through like uh, the the trending topics for Secret Invasion. Because I was like, I watched it and I'm like, like I, I thought it was bad, but also I, 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 it is incapable for me to hate something as much as the average um, superhero fan on Twitter is able to hate things. Um, I, I, I don't I don't care that strongly about most things, um, but uh, but like I was watching it and I was seeing people do like tier lists of the Marvel shows and I I, I was I was endlessly perplexed because like uh, do you at least get to see a full on scroll? Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of scrolls in it. Yeah. It's uh, the bit, the big problem is, is that it recontextualizes the scrolls, which they were they were recontextualized m much more interestingly in Captain Marvel, where uh, they, I was like, oh, that's actually a really cool way of doing them. I like that. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R and D to provide new technologies, items, and build the MAM. Based on samples collected in the field. It's a special thing. Man is special. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note: the object mm -hmm. scanner requires calibration okay. via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Yeah, still at this point. All right. The map has been unlocked. Do I have? No, I don't. Oh, I can't do hog research yet. Oh, I hate it when I can't do hog research. New resource added to the resource um, scanner. What was I going to say? New research available in the MAM. But yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it, it's it's a little, it's just a very, a very uh, secret. Like I was seeing people like do like tier lists and stuff, and like I, I you frankly don't trust anyone scanner. that places any uh, like when they when they're going through like their favorite shows, and if they place like if the two that they place as being worse than Secret Invasion, oh shit, I guess I should probably actually put some fuel in. Uh, if the two shows they they list as being worse than Secret Invasion are She-Hulk and um, Captain Mar uh, and uh, Miss Marvel, I'm gonna say I'm a little dubious as to why you think that. Because that is not to say that either of those shows are perfect, because they are not. But my God, they are both much better than Secret Invasion. Miss Marvel at least has some real verve in the beginning and just kind of falls apart at the end. Uh, it's my first word, but does your Prime Minister get shot in the last episode? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's some... Uh, I think the, the way I worded it on Twitter is uh, Secret Invasion is um, some... some uh, it's got a few neat ideas um, and a few, like, uh, underutilised ideas like all wrapped up in uncomfortable politics and then color graded to be gray. 
Did you know that some dorks hate how the bridge crew is mostly femmes in Strange New Worlds? Uh, well, they are cowards and, um... Yeah. <laughs> that's... Yeah, I don't really have any... Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, I was actually thinking because I was seeing a bunch of tier lists for Marvel stuff, and it was I was looking through them and like, like because I, I I view Marvel very much like it's like I feel I, it's basically like the equivalent of Coronation Street for me. It's like something I can always turn on, and like I can watch some Marvel shit and you know get some joy out of it. But like it's it's very rarely like high art or anything. But it's fun. Uh, you know, some, sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really bad, but, you know, overall you're probably going to get a set level of quality. But I was, like, looking back at, like, the, all the movies and I'm like, man, it is ridiculous how much better the Guardians of the Galaxy's movies are than, like, everything else. Except maybe, like, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> like, there's some really good... There is some good stuff in there that I do, I do enjoy. Um, but, like... Fuck, man. The Kinds of Galaxies movies are just way better than everything else there. It's wild. Oh, well, yes, the car. Yes, yes. Spider Verse is also very good, but that's a Sony thing. I'm talking about the MCU, which is its own spoke thing, separate to that. Agamemnon, you are actually right. I think you are right there that tier lists are mostly just an excuse for people to shit on stuff they don't like. I think you are right there. I don't know, logistics. Uh, yeah, logistics mark two is incredibly useful. Entertainment is subjective. For instance, if I had Snipe and Whip entertaining, my dad would be baffled. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's someone's saying uh, it's weird. So yeah, like uh, Endgame was such like a, a, a an obvious, e <laughs> obviously an end point for the MCU. Um, that it all built up to that. That everything after that has felt just kind of a bit awkward because it's obvious that like it, it doesn't feel like they've gone into the stuff after that with a, with as solid a plan of where they're going. But I also realise I just don't really understand, um, like, I, I don't understand Marvel fans and the things they like and don't like, because they'll sit there and, like, I, like, I watch She-Hulk and I'm like, eh, She-Hulk's pretty good. I mean, I know why they, people didn't like She-Hulk, because there's a lot of misogyny built into the reason why a lot, a lot of people, it's perfectly fine to not like it, we'll specify, if you just don't like it, that's fine, but a lot of people didn't like it for very misogynistic reasons. Um... But like, so they're like, "Oh, this is fucking terrible. Uh, th this this is terrible." And I'm like, oh, "It seemed fine to me." They say, like, "I heard people say like Quantum Mania was terrible," and I'm like, "I watched it. I thought it was fine. It was another Marvel movie. It was fine. Was it high art? No, but it's a Marvel movie. It's fine." MCU fans will sit through a Marvel production just to bitch about it, which is something I can't get my head around. I think that's the thing. Like, I, 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 I've enjoyed a lot of the Marvel stuff. I've not liked some of the Marvel stuff as much. I think, the, I think the, there's only a couple of things I would say that Marvel have done that I think are actively terrible and not worth like. And just, just I, 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 I really, really hated, and that's like. Secret Invasion of the Eternals. 
No, I, I haven't watched absolutely everything. I've, I, I, I haven't got around to watching Hawkeye for one. Um, oh yeah, I never did actually. The, the reinforced plate. Yeah, yeah, Sue. Uh, the Quantumania was an Ant Man movie. It was done in the same tone as the two previous Ant Man movies, so I don't know why people hated on it. You knew what you were getting beforehand. That's the thing, it was just another Ant Man movie. It had a lot more CGI, but it had a lot of weird little guys. I liked the weird little guys. Um. Agamemnon, I like the first version of that. Like, The Flash is dead. That's one of the first movies of any kind I've ever seen. That would be... I, I, I haven't seen it, but I've seen enough of it um, uh, to know that, yeah, it seems pretty bad. But I love the idea of, like, oh, yeah, that's the first movie I've ever seen. Like, man, you just wouldn't bother with movies after that, would you? But yeah, like I think that's that's the thing I find kind of I, I like. I, I do just just find I, I, I like. I, I find the MCU just kind of a fascinating thing that exists, you know. In this huge media empire. That so much of culture has gone around that like, I can see it, and it's like so ubiquitous that like I as someone who. I don't consider myself to be, like, an MCU person. Like, I look around, like, I have a lot of tat in my house. <laughs> like, I'm just looking down in, in, front, in front of me, and there's, uh, I've got, a uh, 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 Transformers, um, fucking, um, Armada spark plug. There's the hands of uh, a, a Spider-Man fucking um, Miguel O'Hara that Snipes got. There's there's a, a little Maxwell Lord that Snipes, and I've got some Star Wars little things I made in front of me. Like there's a lot of tat in my house from different like like franchises. And whilst there's some Spider-Man stuff around, because Snipes got really into that, like I don't I don't have like Marvel stuff. Like I don't, I don't buy action figures. I don't have like things on the wall. It's not, it's not something I care about that much. But I, ha but despite that, I have seen nearly every movie and nearly every series. It's fucking wild. Like how with that, it's just so all over the place. Like it's so um, like prevalent that you can be not really the hugest fan or care that much about it. Yeah, it's still fucking. You, you end up sitting there going like. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess I have seen, like, dozens of movies of it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's fucking bizarre. And it's one of those funny things, like, uh, you know, I also, I, I also don't think, like, um, like, when I'm saying, like, uh, the Marvel movies aren't supposed to be, like, high art or anything, that doesn't mean they can't be, and it, it or, or, or it doesn't mean that they can't speak to you. Like, I, I think that the, uh, there's, there's uh, so much pathos and, and, like, genuine heart to the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, which is what I think elevates them above the rest, well, most of the rest of the MCU, that can sometimes be just a bit of a, a bit of sludge. And they're also colourful and bright, and they have fun with being a, in a visual medium, whereas, like, you know, like, I, I've... Like, as much as I don't feel that strongly, like, about it negatively, um, like, I, 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 rem I will probably never, ever watch Civil War again because I just found it a wholly unappealing thing to watch because it's during the, we're going to colour code everything, um, colour code, colour grade everything incredibly grey all the time and it's just like, ugh.
Second, just gotta check a thing. Because you probably just heard the beep. Okay, it's just a, the message I shall leave. Oh, it was that. Oh, oh it was that clip you're sending, uh, guys. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I have, I have seen it. Um, Um, I have seen the Guardians Christmas special as well. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Again, just, just a bit of fun, wasn't it? And again, had some had some real heart to it because I don't know. I just, I just feel like uh, James Gunn knows how to make these these kind of movies. He just knows how to make them. Um, the Suicide Squad, pretty good too. I think that one's a bit more disparate in tone. I need to do a separate thing for these, don't I? Because I haven't got the. Oh no! Wait, I'll have the I'll have the Mark II fucking conveyors in a second, so it'll be fine. Maybe James Gunn will be able to do the impossible and make a good Superman movie. It's, it's making a good Superman movie is not impossible. It's it's just um, it's impossible for uh, Zack Snyder to do. Because he's bad at making movies. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll, yeah. Now I'm happy with that. That is, that is, oh uh, yeah, one hundred percent just true. It it was like uh, it was uh, it was such a surreal thing for all those years when people were like wanting the the Snyder cut of, of Batman versus Superman. And I was like, sorry, Justice League, and I was like, but I saw Batman versus Superman, and that movie was shit. <laughs> why do you why do you want want to see a version of Justice League that's longer and like that? <laughs> And then it came out, and I was like, well, it certainly is longer and like that. I just, I just, I just could not understand it. It's just such a fucking bizarre thing to me. But, you know, I'm, say, I'm saying all this, but, you know, what you like is subjective, like... Ah, see Agamemnon. Peacemaker's any indication? Oh, yeah, I, I've been meaning to watch Peacemaker. Because um, I've heard it is quite it is quite good. Uh, and along with, yeah, I, 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 I liked... The, I, I, like I say, I liked um, The Suicide Squad. So, I'm sure... And has any other movie been more of a minefield than a flash movie between the actor, the CG necromancer? Yeah, it's just... It, it's, uh, it, it is um, bizarre that the one actor, the only actor that um, a big company is willing to go to bat for and, like, go out of their way uh, to, to uh, defend is one you probably shouldn't. <laughs> it's bizarre. I don't know why they were so committed. Cool. Now I've got Mark II ones and I can start fucking dealing with that. Belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. 
I think the only other movie I can think of that was, uh, you know, a, a minefield, like, in related to, like, shit going off that I can think of offhand is, um... Do you remember the Lone Ranger movie from a few years ago where the main actor uh, was so drunk throughout all its its production that I'm pretty sure he was ADR'd for the entire thing? And that's like some real old Hollywood shit, you know? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> There's the boys just whole fucking thing myself. See, I, the boys, I have such conflicted feelings about. Um, uh, uh, sorry, ADR. Uh, oh, oh fuck, what does it actually stand for? Um, automatic dialogue replacement or something like that is is, is it something like. That? But it, it basically, it's when people, um, it's when someone overdubs when they. Um, when they will re-record the audio later in a studio and then they use that over the physical acting. Additional dialogue recording. Maybe, I, I always forget, because I, 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 I know that it's something that doesn't actually line up exactly with uh, what it's supposed to be, <laughs> or with what it actually does. It doesn't quite line up, but it is just the name that it's got given. Um, but yeah, no, The, the Boys is... Um, Automated, that's the one I'm thinking of. Automatic, uh, automated dialogue replacement. That's the one. That's the one. Um, but yeah, uh, the... The, the thing with, the thing with uh, The Boys is that it has a kind of whatever first season. Um, and it, it's like fine. It's, it's like overly edgy, it has its moments, but it's mostly just kind of like, well, I mean, you know, I kind of wish you'd have dialed back on the edge there. Uh, and then the second season is fucking amazing. It's just fucking great. It has one of the uh, best, like one of the episodes opens with an absolutely wonderful, um, I mean, it's awful, it's horrible, it's hard to watch, uh, but a, a, it shows you how stochastic terrorism works, and it's, it's genuinely really, really well done. Um, and then season three just goes back to being kind of just needlessly edgy again, and it's like, ugh. Like, season two had a real clarity of purpose about it that made it, that really elevated it above, um, like, a lot of things, a, a lot of, uh, you know, like, the other, like, the other boys stuff, but, yeah. Watch, let's, uh, let's watch season one of the boys and stuff because it was so predictable. Maybe I should go back. If you've already watched season one, maybe, uh, and you didn't say get on with it super well, I can say that season two is worth worth taking a look at. Although, if you didn't like season one, I probably wouldn't bother watching season three because it's not very good. Um, but as, as some people were saying, uh, I I have heard that um, the comics are fucking terrible because <laughs> they are so fucking nihilistic. Because Garth Ennis is a, a very normal man. <laughs> Re ADR, if you want an example, compare Darth Vader's on screen voice, James Earl Jones, to David Prowse's actual voice. You are a spy and a traitor to the Rebel Alliance. Um. Uh, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Where where am I? Uh, you know, I guess this is around the time I should actually be starting to start, uh, you know, to, um, like, building some actual foundations to start, like, making my, uh, like, a factory proper. I think that, I think we might actually have hit that point, so, uh, 
you know what? Let's let's go over this other this ridge over here and start paint, uh, putting down some foundations. I remember going to a convention once. I had uh, Dave Prowse at it. Um, he he looked very mad, so I didn't go over and say anything. <laughs> he, he looked fucking furious. I think that might just be how he looks, to be honest. I, I get that. I get that. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Film is... Oh, that's the one. To go to the Zoop. It's quite nice that I'm in this big desolate desert and there's just a nice looking waterfall over there. Which I cannot go to yet. Well, I mean, I, I can. I can just walk there, but, you know, take a while. Uh, right, so I guess the most sensible thing to start is to um, start building an iron production facility up here. So I guess if I pop, like, a few smelters... One of the annoying things is, like, in the early game, because you don't have any of the faster uh, conveyors, is that, like, just making, like, large, large systems, like, that are future-proofed is really difficult, because they just get blocked up so easy, because the paths in are so slow. It was very annoying. Garth Ennis wrote the official World of Tanks comics. Okay. It's rare that I I, I um, see a sentence that is so short yet contains so many things that hurt my head. That that Garth Ennis wrote those comics is, is one of those things that already hurts my head. But that World of Tanks has comics. What? Why? 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 <laughs> Why? I... <laughs> I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. Like, what? I, I know it'll just be about, like, people having tank battles, but, like... Oh man, that's just... It's like make And I know there is one, but like, it's it's like making a narrative around fucking Fortnite. Like, what, what are you doing? That will probably be enough for right now. Here we go. The real satisfactory begins. Right World of Warships had a Transformers crossover, so it's instantly better than World of Tanks. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
You we did have a Judge Red ball game. Oh yeah, like GW did a bunch of stuff with Judge Red um, in 2000 AD in general. It's uh, why um, Rogue Trader has the um, what was called Warhammer 40,000 in the first place. Any. Because they, um, because they were doing a Rogue Trooper game, and they didn't want to bring out Rogue Rogue Trader and have Rogue Trooper out at the same time. That felt weird, so they gave it the subtitle of, uh, of Warhammer Forty. Well, they gave it the title of Warhammer Forty Thousand, but then kept the Rogue tr uh, Rogue Trader part. Yeah. They made a few models called Perp Longfang, and some of them are a little sus, a little sus. <laughs> Can't, can't say I enjoy looking at them. <laughs> they do not bring joy to my heart. Okay, how... <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking, how future-proofed do I want this to be? Like, how much do I want to rip this out when I'm, uh, like... Do I want to keep this as, like, an iron production facility the whole time? Oh! Thank you very much, Xcal, for the sub. Thank you very much. Some Bezos books. It's not like a, he needs them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you know what, fuck it. Add another layer, so, um, so they turn them into that. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because I need to start making uh, the refined plates, uh, not the refined plates, the reinforced plates, that's the one, uh, the reinforced iron. Uh, so I guess I'll build that into this kind of vague facility. I guess what I could do is once I've kind of pulled out here enough is then I can go down and have like a basement floor effectively down here uh, that can do something. So I'll make these thinner once I hit an actual wall I want to build. Uh, check your game. Oh, um, oh no, long Oh, thank you, thank you for the sub. Then, uh, yeah, no, it didn't come up. But it hasn't come up on my end at all. Um, yeah, no, um, nothing at all. So maybe it didn't go through. I don't know. Might just, might just be Twitch being a bit weird, and it'll pop up in like an hour or something. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I want to build. Let's just build a quick craft bench so I can. Because uh, I need to build a bunch of reinforced iron plates, so I'll have to do it manually. Anyone else buzzing for Baldur's Gate Three? Uh, I know snipers. I know, I know snipers. Um... I never, I, never, I, like, I never really got into into the Baldur's Gate series, honestly. Um, but I, I know people are super hyped for it, so it's one of those uh, I'm I'm happy everyone else is happy, you know that kind of thing. Um, but I, I personally don't have much like uh, investment going in. Hmm. 
you know, the, it's actually <laughs> the funny thing is uh, the I I'm 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 currently actually feeling hyped about a thing, which is weird for me because I'm um it might surprise you to know, but I am generally fairly cynical about things. I know try to hold your uh, disbelief at such a wild and unbelievable statement. Um, so the f oh you no, know, I was about to say I need to go and get some more biofuel because I haven't got any, got any in ages. Um, but I'm like um, I I'm like genuinely really excited for um, for Legions Imperialis. Um, I really really want those new models. I really want to paint them, and I hope the game's good. But I also don't much. If it doesn't end up being good, I don't really mind that much. I just really, I really, I'm really looking forward to painting those small models because I've really got into painting Epic recently. And so, like, these new ones that just look really nice, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. And I, and I, 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 and it's just, yeah, it's just come along at the right time for me. And I'm like, yeah. It's just so weird. I, I'm not, I, like, because, yeah, I, I don't, I, I, you will probably know me as someone who is cautiously optimistic about, like, things but very rarely like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. It's just not really a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I, w I would have preferred it if it had have been um, set in, uh, in modern 40k rather than the heresy, but also, I get it. <laughs> like, ultimately, um, Epic, Epic died because of, you know, it was too niche to continue. Um, or at least it was deemed that it wasn't making enough money to continue. So, you know, they're, they're going to be a little cautious. And doing something that has a smaller focus, like, say, so, like the heresy, uh, means that, um, you know, they're not, like, pitching themselves into quite such a deep thing. And like the original um, Epic uh, games... Um, that also started uh, with a heresy focus. The first edition was set during the heresy. Um, the first game set during the heresy, in fact. Um, then, uh, then yeah, they can they can start with that smaller focus, and then maybe they'll expand it later, like uh, like they did with Epic, or maybe it'll just remain a niche game because at the end of the day. Um, like. There are certain things that uh, it is difficult to support multiple big mainline things at once, um, especially with their aggressive release schedules. Uh, if they release things in a slightly more sensibly um, staggered order, then it wouldn't be as big a deal, but you know what it is. Do you space marine fetish? See, I, I think it's... I, I, I feel like um, the space marine thing is... Um, is is a bit like um, the video games are for boys thing, where it's not really, it, it's it's something that was made to be true rather than is inherently true. Um, like you know, people that don't know, um, some incorrect market research uh, was done um, back in the day that ascertained that boys liked video games and girls didn't like video games. Um, Non-binary people were presumably not questioned, um, but um, and and it and it came out oh oh only uh, boys boys are big into video games so marketing which had previously been fairly gender neutral suddenly went heavy on on being male focused. Um, whereas um, I I fit, uh, and like with the space marine thing what what I think happened is that uh, space marines when it came to forty k were their big. Um, this is our unique, quote unquote unique, because they are just power armored guys. Um, but their their u unique thing that they made. Um... Oh, I actually have uh, two hands now. Boop. 
um, but that was their unique thing. So they, so you know, it made sense to start using it for marketing. Um, so then people started really liking them. So they became the thing that like was the most unique and sold more. And so GW pushed them more, and so they sold more, and they so they made more, and they pushed them more, and they sold more, and so it became kind of a self uh, self replicating cycle. Is I kind of feel how it sort of how, how it probably uh, went down, and yeah, it's just a cycle that continued. I know I can't I can't pick up. I'm trying to pick up the wood because um, I can still pick up the wood. Okay, that should be enough for a while. I actually have two hands. Yes, yeah. I have two hands. The Grey Goose scenario for the game. <laughs> Looks like some of the Astarge stuff that's being phased out in, in main 40k will still be usable in Heresy like Assault Marines. Well, I mean, yeah. Because... Um, it it, 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 the assault marines aren't decanonized. They're just no longer being used because they're a, a, a an antiquated thing within the within the universe. But they were used during the heresy, so like you know, it makes sense that those things will stick around. Whip two hands, Johnson. <laughs> um, may I ask why you're playing Dune Factory Town? Um, because I like the game. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nothing more complicated than that. <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, let me let me dump some of this more specific stuff in there, so I've got room. I'm all meant the specific base location. Oh, because I've done, um, I, I've, I've played it in the two easy ones uh, before. So this is one I hadn't started at before. So that's why. Ah, uh, good night, Longfang. You, uh, you take care. I won't be going for much longer, in fairness, anyway, because it's getting really fucking warm in here, and um, I do not know how much longer I can uh, be bothered to deal with that. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably enough fuel for now. <laughs> I kind of zoned out for a second there. Uh, right, okay. Boop and boop. Should probably build the fucking space elevator at some point as well. There you go. continue with this highly important quest of um, building this ship. Uh, it's a splitter I need. Don't necessarily need to put one on the end here because it is, um, you know, I can just have something that turns around, but if I want to expand, um, proves it a little bit. Right. Okay, so I want... Um, actually, what I should do is uh, make another few so that I can have some of them building... Um, plates and some of them building um, the rods. 
Would be sensible. And I guess my plans of not like having to retrofit stuff too much is already gonna go out the window because yeah, this will have to be gutted and expanded a lot over time. So uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We will we will deal with things. We will deal with things. And the splitters. And once this is all running, I will. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. That's bad. Don't do that. Uh, I will uh, then, like, select some stuff that will uh, more manually uh, become. Ah, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, we'll get uh, upgraded to better versions of the uh, conveyor belts. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, and these are going to be the, these ones. <laughs> That'll serve me to open up menus whilst I'm jumping. Um, right, okay. So, apart from being hooked up to power... This is more or less ready to go. Well, I mean, it also needs to be hooked up to the actual, uh, the actual thing, uh, the um, thingy, the. Uh, Uh, resources coming in as well, obviously, but uh, that is a uh, thing for in a moment. All right. Okay, it is hooked up to power, and then I will feed. I've got two. Oh, I didn't set those to be iron ingots, did I? No. I know that you can do a lot of shit with like blueprints now, um, but A, I don't have those unlocked, and B, I can't be bothered to figure out how they work. Um, Alright, so. Be gone! there and then we take we'll clean we'll clean up all the guff in a second don't worry for I have left a lot of guff around And again, to be tidied up later. And that means we can get rid of all of this. Let's just uh, top up our fuel situation. I suppose another thing to do once I've, uh, you know, got a bit more, you know, I'm starting to, like, build my, uh, my actual, like, platforms and stuff is to move all this stuff to a, a slightly more convenient sort of flat location where everything, uh, makes sense. Alright, 
this stuff is going into the system. That is producing ingots. That's now feeding through here. Right. The system works. In theory. We shall see. Right. Uh, let's, let's dump some guff from my bag so I can start picking up all this other guff. Okay, you can pop that in there. Yeah, you just, just take all that shit. You, you, you deal with that for me. There we go. Sorted. Oh, floating box, what is in you? <laughs> okay, cool. One. One ore. Good, good. That was a uh, good use of uh, everyone's time. Containing one ore. Get rid of you all. Now my iron production is a little more sensible. And indeed, Bosch. Uh, oh, there's one more there. I'll get rid of that because otherwise I'll forget about it. It was a single bit of all. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, definitely uh, worth all of our time. Oh, I did mean to ask, because I've not really, I like, because I've been so hyped about it, uh, I haven't really, uh, like, gauged how, if other people are getting into it. Is, is anyone else um, here planning to, to do the whole um, uh, Legions Imperialis thing? Uh, or, is, or, or am I going to be the only one? Am I going to be the person that means that this is a, a viable system? And if so, what Legions are you planning uh, to go with? Because I'm intrigued to see what people... Uh, people are thinking of. So I'm going Sons of Horus primarily. Although I'll probably add more to it over time because that's sort of the nature of the whole thing. May get a Titan or if they have a Knight and Knight Defense. They are, they're already out. Excal, you can buy them now. Uh, because they're, uh, they're just the uh, Adeptus Titanicus Titans and Knights. Because it uses the same scale. In the same models. Hello, Marson. I am good. I'm good. I hope you are well. <laughs> then I may just get a small knight. Yeah, you get them in like packs with like a bunch of knights in them. Oh, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're about the height of a Primaris Space Marine, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, I need to add uh, another layer so that I can. Uh a, get these sort of, um, you know, have a bit of a, uh, this is the point where I can start actually bringing it down. Yeah, maybe actually. So I should probably start using a thinner foundation. I mean, it's not like I can't just like replace the thicker foundation later as well if I want. Uh, since my lottery dream army is a night house and household trips. I mean, in in fairness, um, except the only way to get any minis officially now is the uh, is the starter box for hundred. Oh shit! Is it right now? Yeah, of course, because they're all being reboxed now. Um, yeah, you might have to wait a little bit uh, to get the knights because they're being reboxed for uh, legions. Um, 
with the new thinner bases, presumably. Um, but yeah, a, a knight army isn't actually that bad in terms of money when you consider how much other things are. Like, it's not the... It's... Like, because what, like, four knights is, like, a nearly 2,000-point army, depending on what knights there are. Uh... I mean... Two th yeah. Simple knight is roughly 500 points. Also. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, they're not... Like, it's... F yeah, so, like, you're pushing 400 pounds. Yes, that is expensive. That is a lot of money. But... Uh, there's a lot of armies that come to about that from like a uh, real prices. In the household troops have been the issue since using kill teams are but uh, oh yeah okay if you're doing like you know uh, a bunch of like kit bashes and you have to buy multiple kits then yeah fair 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 fair, fair. that does that does start getting real expensive real quickly. Uh, there's there's a reason why I uh, I tend not to go in for such things very often because I know oof. Yeah, you you uh, you end up uh, spending a lot of money very quickly doing that. Uh, I, I guess we'll just do some basic storage containers for um, now. Oh, actually, no, no, because I need to. Oh, okay. Because we need to start um, building constructors to do screws. I need that to the part assembly, which is the next thing along the line for, um, thingy, um, oh, to be able to build the, um, reinforced, the reinforced stuff that I need to build. I guess what we'll do for now, just flip that around is we will just split the um, rod production in half and have half of it just go to just be rods. But they're a long way fucking round, isn't it? Did I build all of them the wrong way around? I did indeed. And now I'm going to focus on Eldar Combat Patrol I got last week. Ah, oh, nice, nice. That's that's the thing. Like, I, I think every now every now and again, um, like obviously money is always an issue. But I, I think sometimes it is it is worth to just like you know to 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 start on that dream project that you've always wanted to do. You know. Because once you've started on something, you can kind of chip away at it slowly. And like, yeah, it's expensive. But all Warhammer armies are expensive. And, you know, if you're spreading it over a long time, it's not quite as uh, horrific. Because um, that's what I did with my... Because um, a Grot Rebellion was one of my dream armies and a, a Rogue Trader Lamenters army was one of my dream armies and I have both of them now. Admittedly, the latter one was made uh, with a lot of help from very kind uh, donations into the PR box. I would be lying to suggest that it was, uh, you know, something uh, that I was able to entirely do off my own back. It's so fucking annoying when you've only got the, uh, the basic poles. Yeah, 
and doot and doot and doot. Right, and let's um, you know what, I'll uh, I'll finish off this uh, this production line and get them all into boxes, and I might call it a day because yeah, it's uh, getting very warm and uh, my uh, soul is beginning to melt. And I don't like that, as a general rule. Not something one is a fan of. Just takes us to do a merger. Even though again, I don't need to do mergers on those end ones, but I'm going to anyway. Because it's a force of habit at this point. I was so used to building like late game stuff where you build everything with like the idea to expand. But yeah, I think I think the bigger. Uh... Like, uh, I, I think the big thing was, like, trying to build a knight army, which does sound like a fun thing to do. Like, I, I totally, I totally get the desire for that. Um, if, I have one knight, and I, well, I did have one knight, and then eventually I was just like, hey, Snipe, do you want it? Because I am just never going to paint this damn thing. Um, but they are very cool. They are very cool. Although I do think knights do represent an interesting uh, issue with 40k, as I think that as as they've integrated more of the larger units into it, I feel like sometimes the rest of the game doesn't really keep up with that, and uh, they do. Lay super heavies are a thorny subject when it comes to game balance. I feel. The size of them is why I didn't get one when I could. Yeah, they, they do take a long fucking time to paint. Just, just, uh, just because they're just so big. Like I've, I've painted one super heavy uh, in my, in my life. Um, well, I, I guess I'm technically part way through painting another one because I, I, I guess technically a Spartan's a super heavy, isn't it? This is a bit messy because uh, whatever, who cares? Um, this bit will be ripped out in time. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Do I have enough? That's only just started filling. No, these are building very quickly. Shit, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'll have enough to finish part assembly before we wrap up. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, I didn't say I, I get that. Like, I think what one of the big things about night armies, the things that actually make them difficult, is that you can't just like. It's one thing to buy a thirty-five pound box of something every now and again to slowly expand an army. It's quite another to spend a hundred pounds on one thing, even if it is like points wise and like how much time you'll spend painting them, like the same as if you'd spend like that same amount of money on smaller models. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's so much at once. Um, it's a very different thing. Like, one of the reasons why Grot Rebellion Army was quite easy to put together, uh, at least in terms of, like, model count, if not, um, like, um, points cost, because obviously they, uh, they, uh, they are low points cost, but, like, just a box of Grots is dirt cheap. It's one of the cheapest, like, kits GW sells. So, like, you can just, like, on a whim, 
be like, I, I can spend like 12, 13 quid on a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll treat myself. Um, so you can end up buying a lot of them very quickly. Not that I can use them all now. Thank you, 10th edition. Can only use 60 of them. I have 120 of the fuckers. Like... I don't know why Games Workshop hates Grot Rebellion players so much. Other than it's not a real faction and why would they care about it? <laughs> Boom! Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed. Yeah, Excal, I don't get space that. Elevator. Note. Project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Right, let's just quickly see if I've got stuff uh, to throw in the man right now. Uh, <laughs> we'll do that. Power slugs. Shall do this. New recipe unlocked. Yes, I know. New recipe unlocked. Always forget that it cuts off that page when you've done the thing. Uh, all right, so I don't have that. Criterium, I'd have to actually do the thing. Nutrients, I have not found that. Power slugs, I have done that and quartz and sorted okay cool 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 well i think that's um that's like a good uh, a good start i feel um we've got the beginnings of of a factory um currently power systems are all functional and uh, yeah I am happy with that for a single stream. But yeah, no, this wasn't the longest one or anything, but uh, I, hope, I hope you have uh, got a kick out of uh, just just a, a cozy little stream. Um, I don't I don't know how much how often I will come back to this this particular factory because this is just something for me to play around with on my off time uh so i'll probably do like a periodic uh stream where i'll come back and update you on wherever this 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 factory has got to um hopefully by the time i next year i will have uh, been able to access the colors and so i will have picked an entirely new customizable color for this so it won't just be the orange uh and i'll uh it'll probably be some tedious reference to some bullshit because it's me you know um but yeah um so let me Save. I've not done a proper save of this yet. New exit to the desktop. But yeah, no. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for calling in to the stream. Uh, just give me one second to check a thing. I'm just checking if if Hobby is streaming yet. Hobby is not streaming yet. So uh, yes, go go if if Hobby ends up streaming later, then go check out Hobby Town. But for now, I am going to fuck off. Um, but yeah, no, thank you very much for for joining. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you all have a good rest of your evening, and you all take care. So a cheery bye. <laughs>